Grok and Play AI may have just ended Eleven Labs' dominance in voice AI, and the numbers back it up. In March 2025, they launched Dialog, a text-to-speech model that's already beating Eleven Labs in third-party benchmarks with a 10 to 1 user preference ratio. Dialog isn't just faster, it's more human, more responsive, and natively supports Arabic from day one. In this video, we're breaking down exactly how Dialog works, why it's such a breakthrough, and how Grux custom hardware is changing the game. Stick around. We'll also explore the $1.5 billion investment behind it and where this tech is already being used. The dream team behind Dialog. The foundation of Dialog lies in the pairing of two very different but complementary companies. Grok, founded by former Google TPU architect Jonathan Ross, has spent years designing processors specifically built for AI workloads. Unlike general-purpose GPUs, Grok's LPUs are optimized for deterministic performance, low latency, and high throughput, all critical for real-time applications like voice generation. Grok's latest milestone is the Grok Cloud, a cloud platform that runs on their LPU hardware. This is where Dialog lives. Instead of relying on traditional GPU infrastructure, Dialog runs on Grok's custom chips, which are engineered to process language-based tasks significantly faster than competitors. Play AI, co-founded by Mahmoud Felfel, focuses on voice AI with an emphasis on natural prosody, emotion, and multilingual support. The company was founded by entrepreneurs from the Middle East and North Africa region, and one of their stated goals has been to build AI that speaks not only fluently, but contextually, especially for underrepresented languages like Arabic. In a recent interview with VentureBeat, Felfel explained that their approach with Dialog wasn't just to make a good TTS model, it was to rethink how conversational AI should sound and behave. The result is a system that adapts dynamically based on the entire conversation, not just the current line of text. This is important for any use case that involves back and forth human interaction, from customer service bots to real-time voice agents. Traditional TTS models often sound disjointed because they treat each output in isolation. Dialog doesn't. Dialog versus Eleven Labs. Now here's where it gets especially relevant. To evaluate Dialog's performance, third-party benchmark testing was conducted by Podanos, an independent AI evaluation firm. The test compared Dialog against two of Eleven Labs' most popular models, V2.5 Turbo and Multilingual, V2.0. The results? According to Podanos, users preferred Dialog over Eleven Labs, V2.5 Turbo, by a ratio of 10 to 1. Against Multilingual, V2.0, Dialog still held a significant edge, with users choosing it more than three times as often. The benchmark criteria included naturalness of speech, intonation, response latency, and contextual consistency. In all categories, Dialog ranked higher. This level of performance isn't just a technical win, it matters in real-world use. In customer-facing AI, even a small improvement in tone or latency can significantly impact user experience. A 10 to 1 preference ratio doesn't just reflect marginal gains, it suggests users clearly noticed a difference and acted on it. And these aren't internal numbers. They were shared in an official VentureBeat report published on March the 26th, 2025, with direct statements from both Grok and PlayAI executives. But what's really setting Dialog apart from the competition isn't just the sound quality or the benchmarks, it's the underlying tech that allows it to sound more human. Even in fast-paced, dynamic conversations, inside Dialog's secret weapon. One of the standout features in Dialog is something called the Adaptive Speech Contextualizer, or ASC. This isn't a buzzword. It's a core architectural shift that changes how responses are generated in real time. Here's the key difference. Most TTS systems treat each sentence as an independent task. They generate speech for a given prompt without memory of what came before. That's why even advanced voice models can sound mechanical, especially in long conversations or emotionally nuanced settings. Dialog, on the other hand, maintains awareness of the conversation flow. The adaptive speech contextualizer enables it to process previous exchanges and adjust future responses accordingly. This means the AI can change tone, stress, and even pacing. 
Not because it's randomly varying them, but because it's drawing from contextual continuity. For example, if the conversation starts with a lighthearted tone and shifts to a serious topic, dialogue adapts its vocal tone to reflect that shift. It can raise or lower its pitch, inject pauses at the right time, or change emotional emphasis, all without needing manual prompts or scripting. According to Play AI CEO Mahmoud Felfel, this architecture is designed to simulate how real people speak, where every sentence is shaped by what came before and what's expected next. This makes a significant difference in enterprise applications, especially in sectors like healthcare, finance, and education, where clarity and tone can directly affect trust and user engagement. What's more, this isn't just a software trick. The architecture of Dialogue was specifically built to take advantage of Grok's LPUS, which allow faster sequential data processing without latency buildup. So the contextual analysis happens fast enough to support real-time interactions, not just scripted demos. Grok's speed edge leaves GPUs behind. Latency has always been a critical limitation in voice AI, the delay between a user saying something and the system responding. In real-world applications like customer service, voice assistance, or accessibility tools, even a half-second delay can interrupt the flow of conversation and feel unnatural. This is where Grok's hardware architecture gives Dialogue a noticeable advantage. Traditional TTS models are typically deployed on GPUs, general-purpose processors that are powerful but not always efficient for sequential language tasks. In contrast, Grok's LPUs, language processing units, are custom-built for high-throughput, deterministic processing of language data. According to Grok's internal testing, dialogue running on LPUs is capable of generating up to 140 characters per second. For comparison, the same dialogue model running on GPUs managed 86 characters per second. That's a 62% increase in generation speed. And it translates to what Grok describes as up to 10 times faster than real-time inference. In practical terms, this means dialogue can respond almost instantly, even in complex multi-turn conversations. It doesn't just reduce latency, it effectively removes it as a limitation. That has big implications for scalability, especially in high volume applications where thousands of users may be interacting with a voice AI simultaneously. This kind of infrastructure level optimization allows dialogue to be deployed in ways that weren't previously feasible without performance trade-offs. It also means that real-time, fully responsive AI agents are no longer a hypothetical. They're operational and already being used. First-class Arabic support signals a strategic shift. Another area where Dialog is taking a different approach is language coverage. Most voice AI platforms launch in English first and expand to other major languages slowly. Arabic, despite being one of the top five most spoken languages in the world with over 400 million speakers, has often been left behind in early stage AI deployments. Dialog breaks that pattern. At launch, it is fully available in both English and Arabic, making it the first voice AI model purpose-built to support Arabic out of the box. According to Grok CRO Ian Andrews, this move wasn't an afterthought, it was strategic. In an interview with VentureBeat, Andrews explained that Arabic's inclusion reflects a focus on accessibility and market expansion. For Play AI, which has roots in the Middle East and North Africa, MENA, Arabic support is also personal. CEO Mahmoud Felfel emphasized that building native-level Arabic capabilities was part of the company's founding mission, recognizing the lack of high-quality tools for Arabic-speaking users. This shift has broader implications. Supporting Arabic at the infrastructure level allows dialogue to be used in a range of emerging markets where demand for localized AI is growing from government services and education to e-commerce and healthcare. It also opens the door for real-time Arabic-English translation in voice applications, expanding Dialog's utility across bilingual contexts. Few competitors have committed resources to developing high-quality Arabic TTS at launch. This early positioning gives Grok and Play AI an opportunity to build a strong presence in markets that are rapidly investing in AI infrastructure, but still underserved by existing tools. $1.5 billion investment in a data center in Saudi Arabia. Grok's expansion into Arabic-speaking markets isn't just technical, it's backed by significant financial infrastructure. In early 2025, Grok secured a $1.5 billion investment from Saudi Arabia. 
aimed at building out the company's global AI footprint. A major component of this investment is the establishment of a data center in Damam, which Grok describes as the largest inference cluster in the region. This move aligns with Saudi Arabia's Broader Vision 2030 initiative, which includes aggressive investments in artificial intelligence, cloud computing, and digital transformation across the MENA region. From Grok's perspective, this partnership allows them to deploy low-latency AI services closer to end-users in the region. For Play AI, it means dialogue can operate at full capacity in real time, with no reliance on distant cloud regions or overburdened networks. This isn't just about geography. Locating infrastructure in the Middle East means dialogue can comply with regional data sovereignty requirements, which are becoming increasingly important in sectors like banking, healthcare, and government. For many enterprise clients in the region, having data processed locally is a non-negotiable, and Grok is now positioned to offer that capability. Combined with Arabic language support, this infrastructure investment positions Dialog as one of the few voice AI models that's not only optimized for Western markets, but also ready for deployment across the global South. That's a major differentiator at a time when most AI models are still heavily Western-centric in both design and deployment, where Dialog is already being used. While Dialog's technical performance has attracted attention, its real-world deployment is just as significant. According to Grok, Dialog is already being used across industries in roles like automated sales agents, voice assistants for scheduling and onboarding, real-time English-Arabic voice translation, voiceovers for e-learning and marketing content, and accessibility tools for visually impaired users. These applications share a need for voice AI that's both fast and natural sounding, areas where Dialog's low latency and conversational flow stand out. Grok Cloud, which hosts the model, supports both free and paid tiers, allowing developers to test and scale without upfront costs. This ease of access lowers the barrier to adoption, enabling teams to integrate Dialog into existing systems without major infrastructure changes. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.